Hey y'all, it is the Grim Freaker and I have Windows 10. I'm so glad I got my invite earlier today and I downloaded it before I went to work. While I was at work, I was like super excited and everything. I was like, I can't wait to try out Windows 10 and a new Microsoft Edge. That's supposed to be like, you know, uh, I guess a better version of Internet Explorer because, you know, everybody hates Internet Explorer. But the main thing that I wanted to try out um, is if OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Software, plays well with Windows 10. That's like a big thing. That is my bread and butter right there because if I don't have OBS, I can't record my gaming video so that I can upload it for you guys to see. Um, earlier, I did spot some problems. I'm hoping that maybe it was just like a little snafu where... I don't know, maybe by chance it, it, it happened really weirdly or something. I noticed that the 32-bit um, the uh, version of the OBS software didn't work very well, neither did the 64-bit um, version, and I, I reset the computer. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see. I am going to try and see if the menu pops up. Okay, so right now I am pressing the menu and it does, there it goes. It doesn't play well. It, it does not show up in OBS. That little green box that you see popping up, that is just a small part of this very nicely placed menu um, what you should see is a start menu which is a it has a listing on the side you know it's got get started people calculator alarms and clock you know things that you would probably use a lot um, and recently added optional features they've got life at a glance where's the side of the menu it's it looks kind of like Windows 8, you know how when you press the little Windows button and then you see the tiles come up? Now there are tiles there, but they are part of the smaller, more efficient start menu. But instead on OBS, you only see what? The green and the blue box. Um, I don't know what's going what's going on there. I'm going to try and maybe go to website, hopefully... It captures that. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go to Steam. Let's see what happens there. Maybe it'll pop up. Okay. So I'm already at the Steam website, and it's not showing on the recording. It's not showing that I'm at the Steam website, and that's that's a. Uh, that's actually quite unfortunate. I kind of wish I didn't download this on my laptop that I game on. Um, I my my intention was I said, hey, since I have a a gaming computer, a regular gaming computer, a PC, I can, you know, always just uh, record on there. But then I found out earlier today that oh look, it's finally popping up. That's part of. That's part of what I'm seeing on Steam right now. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that I could just, like, you know, record on my PC, but my PC's, like, ancient, and now it's giving me a hard time recording things. But, um, yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. I wish I had downloaded it for something, um, downloaded it on my PC instead of my laptop. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see. Maybe I should try and see if it will record a game. Be right back. Okay, so it looks like um, 
It looks like as far as gameplay is concerned, OBS and Windows 10 kind of works. But for those of us that have other things that we need to be working with as far as like the monitor capture, because some games, it, they don't register and, and can't be recorded through um, the game capture part of it, so you have to record the whole monitor. Um, those games, I guess you're just gonna have to wait for the patch, but it looks like, it seems like everything is okay so far. Um, I guess the lesson is on this is, if you need to record your screen for whatever reason to do some sort of tutorial for gaming, Windows 10 is not going to play well with open broadcasters, uh, open broadcaster software. But if you want to record your games, you should be okay. So, let's see. I just want to double check, see what happens. Yeah, it seems to be recording fine. There's no stuttering. There's, um, it's not freezing. There's no delay. So yeah, I mean, I guess we got lucky with this. At least I can still upload videos well that's all I gotta say on that if you really if it's crucial for you to have the monitor capture wait on downloading Windows 10 save your time if you got Windows 7 or Windows 8 just keep it until later on into a year I think you have like until after a year to um, you know, from from the release date to update from 7 or 8 to Windows 10. And it's, I don't know, it's pretty, but of course, in the beginning, there's going to be a lot of things that need to be worked out. And this just happens to be it. Now, I don't know what the priority is on trying to get that fixed as far as making it be able to sync with OBS on um, the monitor capture but I mean you got to give it some time so thank you guys for watching I appreciate it if you find this video informative you can like the video I would really like if you liked it or you can comment on it we can have a discussion in there on some things that you know on Windows 10 what did you find out is there a fix for it have you found a way to finagle your um, the, the settings so that it can show up on monitor capture let everybody know please share the video or if you haven't already subscribe have a good night